Hello, Cat here, and welcome to the Random Game Review, Episode 2 of Season 2. I know I haven't been on in a while, giving you guys some great video game reviews, but I've been busy doing other things and life gets in the way. I have been, though, communicating back and forth with a couple of my viewers about the TPCast software and hardware issues that are associated with TPCast VR wireless adapter for the Oculus Rift. So tonight I'm going to go over with you setting up and installing open TPCast 2.0 for the Oculus Rift which will give you microphone support, improved latency, and an overall optimized experience which you should have gotten when you first purchased your TPCast VR wireless adapter. Now this open TPCast 2.0 software is third party it's not supported by Oculus or by TPCast VR wireless adapter. So just remember that this would be considering voiding the warranty of your TPCast VR unit. With that said, let's get started with what we need to download and then what we needed what changes we need to make to the actual hardware itself to get this whole thing up and running. Let's get to it. One last thing before we get started. All of this information that I'm about to give to you is available on GitHub OpenTPCast and I will be leaving a link in my description below to the OpenTPCast guide which I followed step by step to install OpenTPCast 2.0. Okay, step one, let's uninstall the original TPCast software. So you want to go down into your settings, however you get down there, and go to application and features. The original software will conflict with the new virtual here USB uh, hub wireless software. So we don't want any of that. And secondly, since you're changing the firmware on the actual battery holster or the battery pack, again, this will not work with it. I have never tried it, but I'm going to assume that it will not produce any good results if you do. So let's go ahead and get that out of here. And you're going to restart. We'll skip that for here for me for now, but uh, you go ahead and restart it. Alrighty, step two: download and install. There are three different softwares you need to download. The first being 7-Zip. This is required to open up the firmware, which is in a zip folder. The software is compatible with a lot of different systems, uh, including XP and Linux. The next piece will be Win32 Disk Imager. This is to put the image file of the firmware onto your micro SD card. Without using this, it will not properly be installed. Last bit of software is Virtual Here USB Client. Now, Virtual Here, it's actually an app, so there's nothing really to install. It just goes right on your desktop, double click it, and it starts working. Uh, this is free, of course but we'll get into what you pay for to get the unlimited license a little bit later. And finally, OpenTPCast 2.0. Again, it is zipped, so that's what we needed 7-zip for. And once we get this unzipped and installed onto the card, you're ready to rock and roll. Step three, so now we're gonna load the software onto your micro SD card. Once you've installed Win32 Disk Imager, it's gonna have a little desktop icon right here. And you wanna double click on that. Over in the right hand corner you're going to see your device and that is your micro SD card. Uh, if you formatted it, that's great. If not, it will say, uh, Windows will tell you that it's not formatted, but again, you don't need to worry about that. The main thing you're going to worry about is the image file location. So there's a blue folder up top, you want to open that up, click on it once. And I have put mine in an OpenTPCast folder. So you're looking for the firmware right now. It is zipped, so if you haven't zipped it, go ahead and unzip it and grab the image file. Click open on that. Now everything should be set as shown here on my screen. If it isn't, you want to go ahead and make sure it is. With the image file, you just want to go ahead and hit right. When you click on it, now it's going to tell you that you know, you're going to corrupt your device. Possibilities it will be unusable. Do you want to continue? Uh, yes, you do want to continue. I'm going to hit and I click no because I've already done it. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here right now and that's it all right now it's time to go ahead and open up your TPCast which at this point you'd void your warranty with the TPCast battery adapter 
being opened but there are four screws here and several clips you have to deal with so let's go ahead and speed through this unscrewing it now if I haven't said it already I do recommend getting your own SD card micro SD card that way in case you ever decide to go back to the original TPCast VR software you can simply by putting in the original card. Now once you have these screws off there are several clips. They're at the top and bottom and on the sides. The easiest way to open it is by prying the side open first. The hardest clips to take off are the top and bottom but once you get it from the side the leverage action actually helps tremendously with doing this. I tried it from the top and it didn't really work too well or from the bottom but from the side here you can see you can just kind of pry it off and that's the one main clip there at the bottom now when you you can wiggle it here pop off the last two clips on the top back now on the front there are two more clips and again with more wiggling and prying it feels like it might snap but it comes off even though it holds pretty tight so that's it there there's your micro SD card well my micro SD card the original one was a class 4 sand disk uh, micro SD card I think it was uh, 8 yeah 8 megabytes the one I put in it is a 16 gig class 10 uh, they recommend class 10 because it will be faster possibly now to get it out you can see that the board here is pretty loose it's held in by a couple of metal clips and a wire underneath but it, it does give a little bit so don't be too concerned just kind of peel it up maybe with a um, paper clip or whatnot if you feel like you can't get under it with your finger but take the card out it slides right out there's no kind of lock or anything so you just kind of push it back in once you've done that just go ahead and make sure that everything is pressed and there's one point and two points that kind of line up the whole board in the case so once it's pressed down and looks nice and flat you can go ahead and reverse order just pop on the back panel now it's, you want to snap it in so the, the two places where it's going to snap is at the front which is the hardest one and at the back now that's going to be easier once it's all together again just double check that nothing's loose that you haven't really uh, smashed anything but if everything feels good you can go ahead and pop the screws back in I'll do this here again time lapse photography And now for the fifth and final step of running your virtual here hub and purchasing your unlimited license. So you have downloaded the hub and it is here on your desktop hopefully. Now you want to go ahead and you click on it. The current version is 4.4.20. When you click on it, you're going to go ahead and see that it has a client window and it shows USB hubs. Now give it a second. It will beep as if you have plugged something in and that is the TPCast being found with the firmware. So expand the window under USB hubs and it will show each TPCast and expand the next one. It's going to show the Rift. Now it won't show your Rift audio because you have not paid for the unlimited license. In order to get the license you first have to go to back up to USB hubs and right click on it and then scroll down to license. This is going to show you your generic license which is used for just one USB port. Go ahead and copy it to your clipboard, leave the window open, and go back to OpenTPCast website. The reason why you want to go back to here, you can purchase the TPCast license uh, for virtual here directly through OpenTPCast. Now you can only do it through here and get the 50% discount. So otherwise, I'm assuming it would be $50. But through Open TP cast, it's only $25. There's a link and it will bring you directly to the TP cast license in virtual here. At this point, you want to go ahead and right click and paste in your license. You want to go then and pay, click the PayPal button and follow the usual rigmarole of PayPal. You will get an email. First, you'll get a receipt. And then you'll get a thank you email with your actual virtual license, which says now unlimited. You want to go ahead and select your virtual license, right click it, copy it, 
and then paste it into the uh, enter license area of your USB hub client. So now there's a little button here, enter license. You want to click it there and then click OK. Now I've already put mine in, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now it's going to show up there in your current license. Close the window. If it doesn't restart here, you can restart the window and double check your license to see if it's shown up. But now you should get two beeps and it should show your Rift and Rift Audio. If that is what you see, you're good to go. Finally, if everything checks out, you do want two settings to be listed under your USB hubs. So go ahead and right click on USB hubs and make sure you have auto find hubs selected and auto use all devices as well. This will allow you to not have to go ahead and select each device to activate it. Every time you turn on virtual here client, it will automatically find your Rift and your Rift headphones. Well, that's it for updating your TPCast VR adapter with the open TPCast 2.0 firmware. If there's anything I happen to miss, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, you should now have full microphone support for your Oculus Rift as well as improved tracking and latency with your TPCast VR adapter. Thumbs up if you liked it. And as usual, until next time, keep on gaming.